So, people have problems with F1 2018 and it freezing and stuttering. And I found a solution. Um, I'm about to show you guys how to do it right now. I said I was going to make a video of this. So, I mean, not, it doesn't have to be specifically for AOR drivers. It could be for people who play F1 2018. This works across just about every single game that I know of. First thing you want to do is, and I'll paste this link in the description. Um, you want to download NVIDIA Inspector. Uh, I don't think it really matters which version because at the end of the day, you just need it for the frame rate limiter. So, download this. I'm not going to do it because I, I've already done it to my PC. So download this, right? Um, or actually, let's do it because I, I don't know if I still have it in my downloads. So, should download, right? Open it. Now, it comes in an application. You'll just want to, like, I don't know, go, go anywhere in your Windows directory and make, like, a, a file. And then just, like, you know, put it in there go in there, then dump the files in there, right? So, what you'll do, right, after you've installed it in there, you open it, it's gonna tell, ask you, because you need to do it as an administrator, so you'll get this one, hit yes, right? You'll get this window, this window right here, right? And then you see this green button right next to the driver version, press it. You're gonna have this, this window open up right here. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that the profile up here says uh, global driver profile, base profile. So this applies to every single game. I mean, if you're only doing this, doing this for F1 2018, you can just uh, go through here, select F1 2018 right here. But I like to do it for global driver, so that way my driver, like my graphics card, doesn't like go crazy. Now you'll see this compatibility right here. Ignore all of this. Sync and refresh are here. This is what you want to worry about. This thing right here, the frame rate limiter. What's gonna happen is you're gonna go in here. It should be set to off originally. You're gonna wanna scroll down to where you start getting frame rate limiter v2. Now, a lot of I, I know that a lot of us are able to run games above 60 FPS. Some of us can run it at like 144 because we have the monitor, we have the hardware. I have a 60 hertz monitor personally and a 1050 Ti. So I can't get more than 70 fps stably so i just limit it to 67 if you want to you can go to like one 100 and something but the key here is that it has to be a prime number for two reasons number one if if you have v-sync off in any of the f1 games or well if you have it off the graphics card is going to go through and generate as many frames as it possibly can now this works this is what happens with any game but in f1 that's bad because the game is designed at least from what I understand, it renders everything by frame and not, you know, instantaneously where everything, it just does everything and then it puts it in every next frame where it's like, it's already been processed. No, it waits till every frame to process everything. At least I think that's how it's done. Now, the reason why that's bad is because of the fact that it, you know, it strains the graphics card, so it doesn't exactly operate the way that it should. Now, had this been any other game, that, that wasn't, you know, an F1 game, that wouldn't be such so much of an issue. Now, the second reason why you want to make it a prime number, and I found this out the other day browsing on Reddit, they do this like this because of the fact that you don't see too much tearing. The reason why is because of the fact that you have the tearing happening almost all the time in between frames instead of on an actual frame. That's why it has to be a prime number because if it's, an, if it's a number that has a dividend to it, what's going to happen is you're going to actually see the tearing happening during gameplay and this prime number is to avoid that. So you can set it to like 60 if you want to, but I can't promise you that you're not going to get too much tearing. So 67, for example, and then 137. So basically any frame number that ends in a 7 above 60 should be good. So like for example, 67, if you're getting you know, 70 stably, 87, you know, any number that ends in a 7 that works for you, go ahead and do that. I'm going to set it to 67 for myself because of the fact that I can't get over 70 stable. Now, once you set it to this, and originally it'll be grayed out because it's not going to be activated, but once you set it to this, it'll, it'll, you, you can click on it, right? Like, for example, right here, you can click on it, and if you change this, like, you see, it'll, it'll, you'll be able to see it, it won't be grayed out anymore. But then if you set it back to the original setting, it'll just grayed itself out. So if it's grayed out, go ahead and click it, it's going to pop up for you anyways. Once you're done with that, go ahead and hit apply changes up here, right? And then close it out. Now, you don't have to reset your computer or anything. You can close this out and you'll be done. That That's it. It's that simple. Now, when you go to run the game, you want to make sure that VSync is off. 
and you want to make sure that you know there isn't really any kind of frame limiter now i i can't promise that this is going to work perfectly the higher graphics settings get because i have a four gig graphics card and a fourth gen intel processor so i haven't been able to you know get my game to actually work properly above 60 fps when i put my graphics higher than medium but i know that rank said that it works i know i probably butchered his name but i mean uh he said it works i think was it Vodcon that said it works? Probably Vodcon that said it works. VP Vodcon. And I know that Path just asked me if I could show him how to do it, which is why I'm actually recording this video right now because I said I was going to do it. And it seems like that's a solution that's widely working for everybody in AOR. So, yeah, that's basically how it's done right there. I'm going to put the link in the description to the application and hopefully it works for everybody.